Hello, hello everyone, Phoenix61 here with more Skull and Bones. So today just talking really basic video on how to upgrade ships. Um, this is something that was introduced in Season 2, and it's kind of nice because it gives you, you know, the opportunity to take some of those small ships and run them through the, you know, the upgrade process, and it brings them up to par with, like, you know, the medium fully outfitted ships, right? So you could see I've got, a like, a sloop that I'm in right now, and it is, uh, I do have it up to level 13, but, yeah, so I've got a... Um, my Mr. Beaumont, right? This is my sand book that's up to level 13 as well. So right now in the current state to get a ship up to level 13, which is what you ideally want to work towards, right? You need to do the upgrade process. Um, so I've got a thousand year monsoons on here. The reason I'm showing this is, you know, I want to talk a little bit about the gear score. So up in the top right of all of these like weapon and item cards, there's a number, right? And so what that is, is that's that's kind of the, the gear score for that item. And the more, the higher that number, the better. Um, and that's gonna progress your your ship level down in the bottom right. So as you could see, as I, especially with armor, so a lot if we take an armor piece off or find a different armor piece, right? Armor is a huge chunk because it's 400 some for a lot of these upper, you know, these higher level ones. So I take the armor off completely, and you can see down in the bottom right, it drops us down to a level 11, right? And so this is important because, you know, your weapon damage is also, you know, weapon damage and, like, defense and how much, you know, damage you take and stuff. It's all linked to that, like, overall ship level, right? So even using the same gun when your ship is a level 10 isn't going to be as powerful as using that same weapon when your ship is level 13. It's going to be much stronger when you're at level 13. So keep an eye when you're doing your ship builds on the, um, you know, the gear score up in the top right for these item cards, right? So there are some furniture pieces now that we're into season three um, that are, you know, up in the 40 and 50 gear score. Whereas like, you know, when we started off in season one, they were pretty much all level 30 for gear score, right? So you can see like if I were to change this one down the bottom right, you can see like a little tiny sliver of red. That's how much less gear score, right? Even if you're maxing out right now within season three, at least in the current state, you can't quite get to level 14. So, um, but you can get to 12 just by equipping stuff, but to get your ship up into that level 13 range, you do need to do some of these upgrades, right? So I am working to upgrade my battle junk. And actually, um, a little bit after this video, we do have it. I do have it upgraded all the way. So make sure you're following the channel because I've got a video coming out very, very soon on my full build for my battle junk, right? <laughs> full build for my junk, guys. Um, but I am racking the uh, the new uh, electric long guns on the sides and rear and Zam Zama 3s in the front just for some kind of close range um, battle fighting right too. Um, I've got the Buccaneers Oath on it in this um, example, but I've changed that up and I've also changed my furniture stuff up quite a bit too. Um, and then, um, yeah, so... I want to upgrade my battle junk more. The place to do that is the shipwright. They're both the same whether you're here in St. Anne or if you're in Talak Penjara over in the East Indies, right? This guy just looked similar to my character, so I was trying to dance and get his attention, but I'm sure he's in there. <laughs> I'm sure he's actually doing something, right? Um, but yeah. So when you go into upgrade, you can see all of the ships that are kind of in your... Um, oh, that was craft. Craft, right? So... Um, you know, you can see the ships that you can build. Um, mine were all grayed out because I'm maxed out at 40 ships right now. But if you go, um, and then if you go into manage, you can see here, like you could go in and like sell your ships and all that other stuff too. But the third option down is the upgrade option. Um, yeah, so the, the ones that are grayed out, like when we're in manage, right? Like that, they're just assigned to manufacturers. So I can't, it won't let you do anything with those. You have to go and unassign it. You have to go to the, the factory, unassign it, and then um, uh, and then you can like delete it, sell it, take stuff on and off, right? So, but here we are in actually the upgrades, right? So I could upgrade my snow, um, even though it says over there on the right that your fleet is full. It still lets you up. It still lets you do the upgrade because it's not adding a new ship. But what I want to upgrade is my juggernaut, right? The battle junk ship, um, and I need some more 
NAFTA, right? These Some of these other items over on the right are still, like, pretty tough to get as well. But you can see we're at level 2 over in the, like, down towards the bottom left. We're at level 2. We've already upgraded this once or twice. I think it started. Does it start at 0? It's always hard to remember. Anyway, but, like, to get to level 3, that's what we would need, right? So I have prepared for this moment, and I have at the refinery. So a lot of items you can sort of step by step upgrade at the refinery. Take one item, make the next item, and then take those items and make the very high end item, right? So you just kind of have to put those puzzle pieces together, and then there are a few things that you can, of course, get from just playing the game and out in the open world, right? Use the codex in the menu. To figure that stuff out because there's just too many to <laughs> too many items to try and go through them all uh, but now we have all of the items that we need to upgrade our battle junk and basically you're just going to um, go to your battle junk and then you're going to hold the button to actually do the upgrade right so i think part of it is you know you need the upgrade parts and then you also need quite a few other materials and so especially for the battle junk for this season since it's a new ship um, the upgrades are requiring some of the new items as well, and so it's been a, it's been a little bit of a, um, um, you know, a journey, <laughs> right? It's been a little bit of a grind um, to get the uh, battle junk upgraded all the way. Yeah, so we'll go and see. So now for the next level to get up to level four, I need some more planetary gear sets, um, and I of course I don't quite have enough pieces of eight. But I think I could make the planetary gear sets, right? So I could at least get those items, you know, going in the refinery here. So we'll take a quick peek. And, yep, there they are. I have plenty of the um, cog wheels. <laughs> so we'll make a bunch. For some of these here too, I, I don't recommend like overdoing it. Um, don't make too many because you might need the the previous material right for something else. So don't don't spend everything if you've got a lot. Right, kind of focus on making what you need. I think I ran into that in um, um and then you can you you know you can go in and just double down on it too. So right, you get three workers and three finished goods spots. Right, so. To make something fast, you could select it for multiple jobs, right? And so then we're getting the gears um, going like basically twice as fast, right? So I made a chunk for one of them and then just a handful uh, for now. So then we get, you know, we can get them pretty quick. So I've done it where I need like, it's, you know, some of the higher end materials that take like 30 minutes or even some of the highest ones take an hour to craft, right? And I've made each... Um, each worker do one of them, one or two, for uh, you know to make three here, and then you can also go over to Lock Benjara. So you gotta remember you basically have six workers, right? You can go to the refinery over there and get that stuff as well. But so you can scroll through the item card here for the ship and see it'll highlight green what the like next upgrade would be like changing or what it would give you. But what I recommend doing is just holding Y if you're on console, right? There's a preview button. And here you can see what each level um, is in fact going to do for you, right? So there is a one through six here. So the first level increases your hull health and it increases your brace strength. You get more cargo next. Um, you get more speed for level three. You get even more health for level four. And then the, the key ones are these last ones, right? The um, level five gives you the base ship rank, right? So this is how... You go from level 5 as a base ship, right? When it's stripped down with nothing on it, you get a rank 5 for your ship. Now you can get rank 6 for your ship. And so that's what gets you over that hump from being a level 12 ship to a level 13 ship. So that's how you get in here, max level it out, get up to level 13, and do more damage, right? The, the sixth perk always is kind of unique to the ship. Um, so this one for the battle junk, receive 2% less damage per attack. Um, you know, it's like, and you get more, what, um, uh, what is it, the, uh, the taunt effect and stuff like that, right? So, um, keep an eye on those perks, and then what I typically recommend doing is, is building, you know, equipping weapons and furniture items that kind of help support the perks of the ship. 
And then, yeah, we could go and grab the items that have been refining in the refinery, right? You don't have to wait for the job to be completely done. You can grab whatever's finished as it still progresses. Oh, yeah, did we also need worm, volatile, napalm? Yeah, this one here, though, this is one of those ones that takes an hour to do. And it also uses worm's breath, naphtha, quicklime, and ca dry casting sand. So, like, naphtha you can craft... Um, worm's breath you got to either buy from the black market or you know for eights or um, there's a couple of jobs where you know a couple of the, the like helm uh, liaison or attack missions can drop those right so, so just keep in mind yeah, these these higher end ones here these all take an hour and they also use rare materials right so don't craft too many like don't craft a bunch because like i think i over crafted like this one here the eel sturdy ropes and then i needed sinew string for something else and i was low because i just i was like oh i'll just make some extra eel sturdy rope now i have extra eel sturdy ropes and uh, eel sturdy ropes and no sinew string and i had to go farm for sinew string right so just keep that in mind on on these i recommend don't overdo it don't make more than what you uh, are about to need right but you can always plan ahead right like make you know and then you can always you basically make three at a time if you really needed to right like you know do one for each you know job person or whatever and then yes don't forget about the codex right so like here's like sinew string right like this is one i'm gonna do a video on this particular um commodity be commodity because uh this one here is is one of those like annoying ones. There's a few different places to get it, and there's, a lot of them have like a chance to drop it. And then the only like guaranteed location to get it from is by plundering this one location here, Ankahana, right? Like I'm sure I can't say that right, but um, so that's the only like guaranteed location to get sinew string. So I'll I'll do another video on that. So make sure you're following the channel if you're if you're running low there, but. If you need sinew string, like it, it's it's kind of a grind, right? So there's a few few boss fights, and sometimes you can get them from like you can get sinew string from like the chests. There's one of the convoys over kind of the like opulent um, opportunity or something. One that comes up, that one's good for sinew string. Yeah, it's usually spawns over here in this area. Um, so do those if you're desperate for sinew string as well. But then. I've literally just like occasionally had to just sit at that, you know, that fort location, plunder it, and then I'll sit there and like wait for the, the cool down on it and plunder again. If you can join up with a group, right, even if they're not Training doing the same stuff there. as you, if you can join up in a group that increases your drop rates. So you can usually get like one or two sinew string. And then, you know, if you're plundering by yourself and it goes up to like two to four if you're plundering with somebody else or you know if it's just somebody else is in your group they don't even have to be doing the plunder with you right but yeah as you can see we had enough of the planetary gear thingy majiggers right that we could craft the or we could craft the next upgrade for the battle junk but we didn't quite have enough um uh pieces of eight right so i've got to go and, and get my manufactories going as well but yeah so for some of this stuff in here, like Worm's Breath and Orca's Mechanism and Gannet's Saltspeter and then the um, Eel's Twine, right? You can buy these one a piece for 1,500 um, uh, pieces of eight, right? So uh, you can also get these. They will drop from the, um, what is it, the Rogue Hunt attacks from the, um, in here in the Smuggler's Hideout, right? So actually go in and show you quick um so if you don't want to you or if you can't right if you if you don't have enough um pieces of eight especially if it's early in the season right and you might want to be like using your pieces of eight to upgrade your factories and other stuff like that but these rogue hunt attacks right you can see in the description of it it says a dangerous fleet of worms it devotes a flame right so these would drop the worms this one here these would drop the the gannets right like so you just got to look for that red word right like and then this this one drops the orcas mechanism right so that's how you could get those for free and it's not a guaranteed drop right but it's it's i mean it's a pretty good chance usually i can get one or two or something sometimes from from doing those right 
Um, so that's just something else to keep in mind for some of those, you know, kind of more awkward materials to find and, and get and gather, right? So you don't have to buy those. Um, but yeah, once you get factories going and collecting eights, then I'm just always buying them whenever I need them. And then when it gets towards the end of the season, the last two season changeovers, they've they've only let you keep 300,000 pieces of eight at the end of the season. So you want to spend your pieces of eight. And so I always kind of just recommend buying up a bunch of those. But yeah, here we're, we can make three naphthas at a time. And then it's going to take 30 minutes because we've got one for, you know, one position in, in each job. Appreciate the patronage, Captain. All right, guys, that is going to be it for upgrading ships. If you have other questions, put them down in the comments. I, I think that kind of covers it, probably more so than <laughs> what we really needed. Um, but thanks again for watching, and yeah, make sure you're following the channel. We got more Skull and Bones videos in the works, so we'll see you next time.